All right, we're going to go ahead and redo this video. Sorry, uh, apparently my computer doesn't like me today. And for some reason, the microphone wasn't recording properly earlier. So we're going to go ahead and take this monogram uh, lettering uh, bundle here and get some of these lines cleaned up here. Um, there's, a, there's a way to go about this. Um, while it's not the most ideal way, it is possible in Carbide Create. It's just a little bit of a pain. So normally, we're going to go, we're gonna go ahead and um, hold Shift a lot while we select multiple vectors here. So we're going to go ahead and select these. So right here, we would uh, do a Boolean uh, intersection, or a, a Boolean union. Well, correction there, Boolean union. Sorry about that. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and do, you would do that to get rid of this stuff on the inside. Now the thing about that is when you do that, it's going to go ahead and, and erase all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. So the way to go around that and you keep this stuff down here, what we're going to go ahead and do is draw... Go ahead and draw it in here, and we're gonna to want to kind of go a little bit past what the um, the outside node would be, so we can go a little bit on the interior here. I'm gonna overlap it a little bit. Don't worry about using the curving tool and getting it all perfect. It'll cause you more frustration than it's worth. So, all right, now we've got that closed vector. We're gonna go ahead and do some node editing on that. Select node edits. As you can see, we've got the four nodes. So we're going to go ahead and add some. I like to go in the middle of the vector, of the line. And go ahead and just click and drag it, and it'll it'll hit to a node. So we'll go ahead and do the middle of the next arch. Click and drag. Now sometimes you got these that they curve a little bit, so go ahead and just click it, drag it to the to the line, and it's going to move your line. On either side, it's not a big deal. You can go back there and add another node. And go ahead and do the same thing here. And if you want to get perfect with it, you can, or you can get close enough. But if you add enough nodes, you can pretty much complete the curve. So right there, we're pretty good. Oops. So we're going to come down here and start editing this down here. Go back to the node edit. And since this is on the inside of this, I want it to be over here. It's going to help us later on when we do our boolean to uh, clean this all up. And since this this curve is uh, it's pretty close, almost touching, you can go ahead and add a node in there if you want. Go ahead and click it, drag it out a little bit, and give you some breathing room. I'm doing a lot of zooming in and zooming out because that's how. You have to pan, you can't right click, it'll deselect everything. I wish you could right click it, move it around, but uh, hopefully in the future they, they add some better panning while you're in node editing mode. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing to this other line here. Just go ahead and click the middle of those vectors, line them up if it moves, nope, we're good. Go ahead and add one more, should be good to go. Go ahead and click that, go right get close enough, and did move it down here, so click that until it lines up. Alright, so now that we have that, <coughs> we're going to go ahead and select the original vectors that we, we had the first time, and we're going to do our Boolean un union there, excuse me, <coughs> Boolean union. So we go ahead and select that. And as you can see, we still have this little, uh, this box that we drew here. Otherwise, it would be completely empty and gone. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you a couple of different things. We're going to select the outs outside. We're going to we're just going to go through the different uh, to show you what's going to happen. So a union with the outside perimeter 
um, selected is going to just get rid of that whole thing that we just drew. We don't want that. So we're going to go back. Now, this is why it's very important on which uh, vector your dash line is. So it really does affect your outcome. So we're going to go ahead and hit that button. And that got rid of everything. We really don't want that. So that was your, your uh, Boolean intersection. Now we're going to go ahead and try it one more time with the subtraction. And once again, not a desirable outcome. As, it, as you can see, the dashed line is on the inside now instead of the outside line. We're going to go ahead and do the same steps. A Boolean union, not our desired effect. We want to keep this line and just get rid of these lines in here. Oops. So we're going to go ahead and try an intersection. And that's the exactly opposite of what we want to do. So lastly, we're going to go ahead and do the Boolean subtraction. And this is actually going to do what we want. There you go. Sorry I dragged you through the, all the other stuff, but I want you to know why it's important to which um, which line is dashed and which line is not in when you're doing this. So now that you can see that B on that side is perfect, it can go ahead and be followed on this other side here. Now, when you do this one, and you have all this stuff selected, what it's going to do is it's going to delete this interior uh, vector. And we're going to want to use a union here. So in order to avoid that, I'm going to con push Control z to back up. In order to avoid that, I'm going to go ahead and copy this vector. Copy that vector and place it directly on top. And then the stuff that we want to keep, like this line right in here, and this overlapping swoop and this one down here, we're going to go ahead and have to draw those individually. So bear with me. We're going to go ahead and finish this whole entire drawing. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our lines. Like once again, come to the interior of it. Does not have to be perfect. We just want to get back on those lines and then we're going to li line it up in no editing mode. That's going to be your quickest and easiest way. If you're going to go ahead and try to use the, um, the poly line, the curve line on this, you're going to be fighting it because it kind of does like an S. So you're, you're, if you do a curve this way on one click, it's going to want to do the curve the other way on the next click. So if you just do it in node editing mode, you have complete control and no, uh, no headaches. So once again, in the middle, Right click, in the middle, drop and drag, line that up, I want to go down here in the middle once again, sorry if you guys hear the heater in the background, it's a little, a little chilly tonight. Get that on the overlap there, so that we, when we do our our boolean intersection, everything lines up. I'm going to go ahead and right click, drop and drag, right in the middle of that arc, drop and drag, and then once again. So once you get the hang of this and you start, you know, you get getting the, um, the groove. Start going a little bit quicker, and then sometimes you accidentally click the background, and uh, that does slow you down. Always hate that. All right, drop and drag that. Now you can be nitpicky or not. <clears throat> it's up to you. That's pretty good looking to me. Now we're gonna come ahead and come down here. And we're going to have to draw this 
interior part here, and then we're going to come back and draw this interior part here. Again, I really, really hope you guys can still hear me. Uh, see if my computer cooperates with me on this video. I'm going to have to uh, invest in an external microphone, it looks like. So I don't have to worry about it. Alright, we're going to stop. start with the top line. I'm going to kind of move this. Uh, so, we're going to start with this one. I'm going to right click, right in the middle. Ah, uh, get in there a little closer. Alright. Go ahead and right click. Drag it up. I'm going to do all the fine tuning right in the end because it's going to bounce back and forth on us a couple times. There we go. Right click. Sorry if I start moving a little bit faster. Hopefully this is just the... Uh, you guys are... We're just going to keep doing repetition on this and hopefully you guys start picking it up. So that way you can see that you can kind of... It doesn't have to be completely perfect. You can have this little arc it's wood, you're going to cut it out, this is going to be like a fraction of a millimeter. Or, you know, you're not going to see a little... So, you can be as perfect or imperfect as you want. It's really up to you how much time you want to spend on your note editing. You got you know, you to think about that when you're uh, doing a project for somebody and, you, you know, you're getting paid for a commission. You don't want to spend crazy amount of time. So, so far we're, you know, we're about 12 minutes into this. It's not too terribly bad, but, you know, sometimes it could get, could get pretty nasty. And there's, there's other ways where you could do this and it could be a lot quicker, you know. Alright, so we got that one drawn up. Everything looks good. I guess we could come up here and clean this one up just a little bit so it's not so flat. There we go. Clean this up in here. And we're gonna, oops, I'm gonna drop and drag that just a little bit here. There we go. I like that. Sometimes I, I like to do it too perfect, so I get myself in trouble. I need to practice what I preach sometimes, huh? Alright, so let's go there. I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit the nodes close enough. Remember on these ones right here, on the overlapping, we're going to want to completely come on the other side and try not to get too confused remember this is the one that we just drew here we want this line so we're going to click there zoom out zoom back in and there we go now we can go ahead and do this once more no did it go ahead and click this guy drag him out of the way from the start and we'll come over here like there's there's really no right or wrong way or order to do this in. You know, and when boolean subtraction kind of gets rid of certain things that you want, this is one way to get one way to skin the cat, so to speak. Sorry if that offends you. Just something my grandpa used to say. Again, each time we're, we're hitting a node, remember that's just your right click. If you're doing any node editing, you should uh, you should already know that. So if it's your first time, it's just every time I do that, it's a right click. Remember, each, each time you have a little gap there, I just go ahead and try to find the middle of that gap. 
right click in there and then drag that node oops drag that node uh, to the line it should snap right to it <coughs> all right now we have this one down here sorry it's so quiet in the background here guys it's uh because if we have any music that's unlicensed, any stuff that we usually listen to, um, we get alerts and they mute it in certain areas. So <clears throat> we go ahead and just kind of shut our music off and kind of got to be in our own heads for a little while. Alright, so now that we have all those redrawn, we can go ahead and start doing our booleans. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and push Control shift Now, we remember we have this doubled up. We copied this and placed one on top. You do not want to click and drag, because if you click and drag, you're going to select all the layers. Now, if you go ahead and just hold Shift and start clicking these guys, remember this is the one, last one. Oops, we don't want that guy. I'm going to click over here. This one that comes through here is the one that we want to be dashed. These are the lines that we want to get rid of. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and do our Boolean Union once again. And that's going to get rid of that stuff. And as you can see down here, it did the same thing. But now, the difference from before is we still have these little, these hoops, these loops still in there. So what we're going to do now is just like before. Remember, we don't want the outside line dashed. We want the interior line dashed. So just go ahead and hold shift, deselect it, and reselect it. And we're going to do our Boolean subtraction. Cleans that right up nicely. Doesn't that look nice? Then we're going to come back down here and select this interior ring. And this guy right here, we want to go ahead and do, once again, a Boolean subtraction and select this interior ring right here and select that one that we drew do another boolean subtraction and there we go looks beautiful took a little bit of work drawing all those little arcs and stuff to save our uh, desired uh, settings but now we can just go ahead and come over to toolpath might as well finish it out see what it's going to look like outside right the max depth on this piece is set at 530 so we're going to go ahead and delete the, the zero and hit 531 so we go all the way through I'll go ahead and set this like I was running in some uh, some hardwood here I'll do conservative this time 15 yeah, that's good to give us a decent time, 19 minutes, everything that we want is going to cut out, so let's see what it's going to look like. There we go. I hope uh, you guys that are watching this, this helped you, and you learned something from this video. And I'm going to time out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe and, and thumbs up if you liked it and if it helped you. You guys have a good night.